Bye, guys. Hi, everyone. I'm Jen, and this is my daughter. We're good. And we are coming live today from our Perler lab. We have a few friends still just logging on. So we're just gonna give it a few minutes. Okay, so I think we're ready to get started as everyone starts logging on. We have really big news. We're so excited to be here today because tomorrow, August 8th is National Perler Day. National Perler Day. So we're so excited about today's project. And along with it being National Perler Day, it is also Perler's 40th birthday, right? Yes. So we're so excited to be here and do this colorful, fun project with you today. So thank you for joining us. And as everyone starts to get their supplies ready, we're gonna read through the supply list and just get our space a little organized. So first of all, our project today is having fun with hexagons. Yes. So when you signed up for the class, you should have received this downloadable printable pattern sheet. So that is something that everybody needs. And that's the first thing um, on our supply list today. And then of course, most important, what do we need? Perler beads. Perler beads. So we suggested the 11,000 bead bucket and we'll go through the colors in a couple minutes, but every color that we're suggesting you use today is in the bucket. If you already have perler beads at home, that's fine. This is a great project to be creative and use your own colors and make your own designs. So we have the 11,000 bead jar and then we have the pegboards. So the pegboards that we suggest are octagon shape and they, excuse me, hexagon shape and they come in a pack of five with several other shapes and we're just pulling the hex shape out. So it's a clear hex shape. So Morgan and I both have those. And then of course you need ironing paper. Yes. Ironing paper comes in the 11,000 bead jar. It also comes in your five pack of pegboards. And the best thing about ironing paper is- It's reusable. It's re you can use this all the time. So after today, we fold it up, we put it in our drawer. Um, if we have friends that are doing further beads with us and we have a few people over, we always have extra because it's yes. reusable. And as we continue to buy more perler beads, it comes with a, a lot of the items that we're buying. So it's awesome. We have tweezers, which are optional. Um, I like to use the tweezers. Morgan sometimes, sometimes does, sometimes doesn't. That's entirely up to you. And then we also put on the supply sheet some baker's twine. You can also use any kind of string you have at home. Or any kind of twine, it doesn't have to be baker. Okay, so then we'll show you how to make your spinner with this. Um, and then if you want to dress up your sun face, which is the other project on the pattern sheet, we suggested a cellophane blue back. Um, we made one with that. You can also use some clear perler beads. You can get creative. Today, we're not gonna put anything behind it um, just to show you that you don't have to, but that's up to you if you wanna dress that up. And then of course you need an iron. So please make sure that you get mom or dad before we get to the ironing and you need an adult to help you with that. But the iron is a regular household iron, no. Steam, no water. No heat. No, no, no water. No water. Right. Okay. No <laughs> water, no steam. Okay, so perfect, right? Because we want to set it at like a medium heat, which we'll talk to you about when we get to that part. We're just going to start this in the meantime. So we have our pattern sheet. We're going to put it down. And then we have our clear pegboard and we're going to put it over our pattern and we're going to get started. I'm going to be doing the sun face. Morgan's going to do the sun face. I'm going to do the hex and you just line it up right over the pattern. Um, sometimes people, myself included, like to move the board over and count if that's a little bit easier, but I'm gonna start with it over my pattern to start. So Morgan's gonna read you the colors. colors. Go ahead. <laughs> the colors that you will need are neon orange, cheddar, yellow, turquoise, pink, hot coral, 
light blue, turquoise, no, sorry, toothpaste, kiwi, kiwi lime, and dark green, and purple. And purple, right. So perfect. So that's a lot of the colors from our jar. We decided we were going to sort them out before we started. We like to do it that way. It just keeps us a little organized. Sometimes we just you know, take a little scoop out and put it on our surface and pick them that way. So whatever works for you, you did not have to separate them before we started. Um, we just did that to make it a little bit easier for us, especially because we're also sharing. So we're going to get started and I think we're ready. Okay. It looks like we have a couple questions about the pattern sheet and that is going to be posted in just a minute here in the Q and A, and then you'll be able to download it from there. So, um, hang tight a little bit and we'll take some breaks and slow down and let everybody have a chance to catch up yes. and just work through the project. So if we are going too fast or too slow, just write in the Q and A, um, like please slow down or please like hurry it up. Right. <laughs> All right. So I am going to get started. And again, the best thing about perler beads is that you can be creative. You can make things your own color. If you want to make your sunglasses pink, pink, you know, this is, this is where you can get creative. And with these hex, you can do any colors you want. I'm going to follow the pattern for the purpose of the class, Same. but you can see here, here are a bunch of hexes that we've already done. And we, we were pretty creative with just changing up the patterns. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start. And when I do my perler projects, I like to go by color. It's just a little bit easier for me. So I'm going to start here I'm also with, going by color. with the pink. Okay. Okay. You're starting with the tweezers? Yep. Okay. So I like to put the beads in my hand. Going around, um, so with the tweezers, I'm going around the, with the neon orange with them because there's a lot of the cheddar. So I want to make sure I get all the neon orange correct. And so, yeah. But guys, okay. listen, if you guys ever mess up while you're doing pro beads, Literally, it's okay. You guys can literally turn that into like anything you want. Right, because you can be creative and just, there's no messing up. Yes. That's the best thing. I like to use my tweezers by going by two perler beads at a time. But yeah, so what, um, so what pattern are you guys doing? Are you guys doing both, the sun face, um, the colorful one? Yeah, tell us which doing? one you're doing today. Um, also, if you don't get through the project with us today, that's no big deal. Um, we'll show you how to iron, but you can also go to perler.com and we have instructions on how to iron. It is nice that with the perler beads, if you're in the middle of a project and have to walk away, that's no big deal. You can come back and finish later. How's it going? Really good so far. How are you doing? Great. You're doing good. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. So this is a hexagon shape. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's okay. That happens. Anybody that's with us today, do you want to let us know in the Q and A why this is called a hexagon. How many sides does it have? Maybe look at your pegboard. That's kind of a hint. But also, if you think that you can do it without the pegboard, try. <laughs> you can't do it without the pegboard. Maybe you can. You have to try and guess. <laughs> oh, without counting yes. the pegboard sides, yes. Sorry, not the problem <laughs> thing.
Ooh, I love the orange color that you're using. What color is that? Then this is the neon orange. The neon orange. I love it. It's bright for summer. Yes. So we're making a spinner with the hexagon pattern that I'm doing. With the sun face, I think I'm we can do all kinds of things, yeah. right? So once you're finished with your perler project, this and others, we, we were a little creative and made this into a keychain. Mm -hmm. You can put it on a bulletin board or a picture frame. But with the keychain, we also did on the few Yeah, we did the screen. hex as well. So with the hex, you don't have to do a spin or anything. It can be literally anything. It can mm -hmm. be turned into like a sun face kind of. You can put some, you can put a magnet backing on it and put it in your locker at school, Fridge. your refrigerator, put it on a picture frame. I'm on to my yellow. I'm almost on to my cheddar. I have four more you know, orange to go. You're doing good, take your time. I think we have some friends that are with us that are just catching up. So while you're with us today, everybody here at our Perler Lab loves to look at the projects that you guys do when you join us here. So if you could have an adult hashtag them with make it with Michaels when you're finished, we would love to see. You can also hashtag Perler and hashtag Perler art class. We like to go around and show everybody what we find. It's so exciting to see how creative people can get, get with their Perler projects. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're good. And the sun it is nice and sunny. We're in Pennsylvania. It's nice and sunny today. So this project is great for us. We would love to find out where some of you guys are from. We'd love to know our attendees where you are. Is it sunny where you are? Is it raining, storming? <laughs> We've got several answers on the six sides. Six sides for a hex. That is correct. And Esperanza. Ooh. Esperanza, thank you. What was it? Gita. Gita, Not thank sure you. The pronunciation. If we mess if we mess up how we said it, we apologize. But thank you for for joining in and telling us. And we'd love to hear where you're from. It's a beautiful summer day here. Mine's coming together. Mine's too. Starting the green. You're amazing. Yours is amazing. <laughs> Sorry about that. You can always, sometimes I move the pegboard over, I just double check my pattern and put it back. You can see if you put it next to the pattern, how you could easily count you know, what comes next. Here are two yellow and the hot corals are gonna go right here in between these. So it's whatever you're comfortable with. And again, remember there's no mistakes. So it makes it even more fun. Let us know if we're going too fast or too slow. And this is a great celebration for summer, right? The sun, the sun face. We love summer. We've done some fun things this summer. We'd love to hear what you guys have done this summer. 
Morgan, you tried something this summer for the first time when we went away last weekend, right? What'd you try? Um, paddle boarding. Paddle boarding. You guys try anything new this summer? We went in a lake. Yeah. That, that was, was really fun. That was so fun. Let us know if you guys have done anything fun. We'd love to hear. I'm on toothpaste. Ooh. That's always one of your favorites. I'm on the yellow. This was hitting. Sure. That's okay. I'm working on the toothpaste right now. Okay. This is hot coal on this one's too pink. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got it. I'm on the smiley, um, or the smile right now, the smiley. <laughs> I almost said smiley face. <laughs> Looking good, Morgan. Thanks. Ooh. It's okay. It's like you jinxed me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay because mm -hmm. if you guys mess up, there's literally no messing up in pro. Right, Mom? You're right. I have to sneak in right here. Anybody have any questions? Please feel free to put them in the Q&A. We'll help you where we can. Hmm. Looks like the camera turned off and it turned on again, but now it's up and down. Okay, let us yeah. just, if you guys just bear with us, keep working on your project, we're gonna fix it. Sorry about that. Still, it, it, it's not, it hasn't switched to landscape. It's still up and down. We're just gonna keep going with our projects and you guys keep filling in your pegboards. Gotta move mine over to see what color I'm gonna do there. All right, now I'm on to dark blue. Same color as your sunglasses. But mine actually oh, turquoise. no, no, it is turquoise. I'm yeah. sorry. Mine is turquoise. Can you switch it the other way? It's upside down now. All right, now. Ooh. Take your time. It's like a little tight squeeze here. I got it. <laughs> It's it switched back from landscape to back to the, the what, what it was doing before. Now you're starting your sunglasses. There, that's that's perfect. There we go. Okay. Okay, I have a little bit more of the turquoise to do. Okay, 
gonna move mine over just to see what's up next. So I'm gonna move into dark green. A few more there. Missing one purple I can see from my pattern. I'm gonna put that back in. Remember guys, if we're going too fast or too slow, just tell us in the Q and A. You're doing great. Thank you. Hope that will be done. Okay. And I think some of our friends got their pattern sheet a little late, so I think timing-wise we should be good. All right, there we go. Here's my son, guys, if you can see it. <laughs> Very good, Morgan. All right, so just give me a minute to finish okay. up. You're doing amazing. Thank you. It's going to be very, very cool at the end. I, I love, love the colors on that one. It looks so pretty. Thank you. But yeah, again, guys, so you guys don't have to follow the pattern sheet. I mean, you guys can do something like this, or all of these you can do. Or you don't even have to do these. It can be like your own. So that's what um, I love about Perler too, is that about, um, I don't always have to follow um, the pattern sheet, but a lot of times I do. Right, and we have other pattern sheets available, right, on Perler.com. Yes. So if you head over to Perler.com anytime after the class, we have tons of patterns. We also have um, tons of different, um, like the boards, kind of. The pegged boards. The pegged boards. But yeah. as far as the patterns, you can get those at Perler.com. You can download the pattern. There's so many fun ones. Do you want to tell everybody what your favorite pattern sheet is? Or it's a food? I love the the 3D waffles. It's 3D waffles. And so it's a couple different pieces that you make and then you stack your waffle. And so we love doing that one. And they're even chocolate chip. Chocolate <laughs> chips, right. There are, it's really, it's really a neat pattern. So fun. Yes. So I'm finishing up mine. Right. Yeah. Oh, no, that's not red. That's actually hot coral. Hot coral. How about these names, guys? Do you love the name of the perler beads? One of my favorite is Too Faced. Morgan likes that too. Mm -hmm. It's not just also the name, it's also the color. I love the color. The color. Do you guys have a favorite color bead or a fun name that you like that we've named a, a perler bead? We'd love to hear. And did you know? Um, well, you probably, but what happens is, so there's um, a pearl reed that is my favorite, actually it's the second color, my favorite, my second favorite color, sorry about that, and it's actually turquoise. Turquoise, yes, because that's one of your favorite colors, yes. Okay, so Morgan and I are both done with our patterns. If you're not finished, don't worry, you can always come back to it, but we're also going to go through the ironing process slowly so everybody can catch up. So I've plugged my iron in and it's on a medium heat. If you guys can grab an adult and go ahead and plug in your iron, we'll show you how to iron your perler beads and get them fused together. And please um, just have an adult help you. So I am going to start with mine. So and we'll go through this twice because we're going to iron my project and Morgan's. So we just have the pegboard and the beads on our surface. And this is where you take your ironing paper and lay the ironing paper on top. Once your iron is ready, and again, please remember, no water, water no, no steam. steam. It's a regular household iron, but with no water or steam. So you lay the iron on top and I use about a medium pressure, I usually say. And you will see as the beads start to fuse together, you'll start to see the beads come through the ironing paper. And if you look real close, you can see that they're starting to melt. Now, it's up to you how you want your beads to appear. We have some friends that like to close the perler beads because they like the way the project looks when they're closed, yeah. or some like them open. 
I usually give a little bit of a harder iron on the back side of my project to make sure that I fuse the beads. And then I personally like them open a little bit more on the front. So it's important that you get the edges and that you're fusing all your beads together. And as you can see right here, here's kind of what like a closed up bead mm -hmm. looks like. So I give it a little peek and make sure it's all fused together. You have to be careful, it is warm. And once I've done the backside, I take my project and I flip it around like this and then take it right, the pegboard pops right off. You also wanna leave that aside. Um, and like you just said, it is gonna be warm. So what we yeah. like to do, we like to leave it aside, but we're not done yet. So then I fold the ironing paper over the project And this is where I'm now fusing the beads together on the other side. And again, a harder iron would be for the beads closing more. And you can see it through the ironing paper. So I'm good with this. And again, it's warm. Take the ironing paper off. And there's our further project all fused together and I'm gonna lay it to the side as it cools. Ta -da. <laughs> so then Morgan's, I'm gonna, Morgan's, I'm gonna carefully take it over and we'll show you again. Okay, so you have your project. You lay the ironing paper over. Start to fuse your beads together. Now on the sun, you really want to make sure you get these outer edges of the beads that are on the outside of the project. What I like to do um, to know if like this is cool enough for me to like do the stuff to it, what I like to do is to I just finish like to, the project. Yes, I like to just pat it down. <laughs> So here you can see the beads are really fusing together. I'm just gonna double check the outside beads on the sun. I really wanna make sure they're fused. Put my iron down. Here's where we flip it. Take the pegboard off. And we iron the other side. Good, Morgan. Yes. You did great. Thank you. <laughs> you guys make your sunglasses a different color. We made ours blue. We stayed with the pattern. Yeah. But we, like I said, we'd love to see what you guys have done. So if you could hashtag make it at Michael's, hashtag parlor, hashtag parlor art class. There it is. Yay. <laughs> okay, so that's that's a little warm, so just be careful. So we want to show you the spinner. So one, we brought with us toothpicks today. Um, this wasn't on your the cameras yet. So no, you're good. Spin it. So the toothpick wasn't on your supply list, but we thought maybe a lot of you guys would have a toothpick at home. So we wanted to show you that you can make it a spinner using a toothpick. So that center hole, you might just wanna fuse a little bit more than what I've done on the hex shape I made so that the toothpick stays in there a little snug. So you could fuse it, put the toothpick in, try it. If it's still a little bit too open, just take the toothpick out, iron it again. But we thought that this would be fun because um, we thought a lot of you would have toothpicks at home. But now to make it into the spinner that we um, posted in our project today, this is where you're going to take your string or baker's twine and you cut two pieces into 12 inches. So we have two 12 inch pieces, two 12 inch pieces this way. Okay, so this is very easy. You put them together and you might need mom or dad for this part or an adult to help you, but you take one end and you tie a knot. 
and you want to leave a little room on the end so that you have something to pull. And then you have the two open sides here and you take your project. And so for me, I made the hex the same as the pattern sheet. So there's a yellow in the middle and then we have two, um, two of the light blues on either side. So I'm going to skip the middle piece and put my Baker's twine through the two sides next to the yellow. We have to twist it to get it through. So there I've got one end in. Now I'm going to take, it's hard to see here, but here's one end that I got in on one side of the yellow bead. And now I'm going to put the other end of my Baker's twine on the opposite side, like this, okay? So it looks like this. So here's the side we Tied the knot on, we thread it through, and now we're gonna make the same knot on the other side. Why you guys are doing knots is so while you're making a spinner, um, but not the toothpick one, the string one, obviously, um, um, that's just because so it won't fall um, off the string. Correct, okay. And then you have that knot. So this is what it looks like. So we have the knot in the middle of the spinner. Now, can we have a forward facing camera so Morgan can show you? So we're gonna show you how the spinner works. Okay. So what you wanna do is you wanna open up your You're gonna hold both sides, right? Like this and put it in the middle and then you just take one finger. Oh, sorry. You just gotta go hold it. You wrap it up. Like this, and then you pull, and then you pull it, and then as you can see right there, it's <laughs> so <it>. cool. <laughs> and then check out that it will stop eventually, so you just do it again, and it's so fun. Like, I've been doing this for like five hours, <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun. And then, no matter what pattern you do, it makes a really cool spinner at the end, yes. So neat. But here's how also my stuff turned out, yes, it turned out great. And we just left the eyes open. So you can put clear perler beads in there if you have those at home or white, or you can put the cellophane behind it. You can keep it as is. Um, Morgan is taking the hex home and <laughs> going to play with it. It's so right? fun. It's, yeah, it's like a it's spring, spring. Yeah. right? Because so you're not, so when, when you spin, you have to like pull. And <laughs> Very good. And then here's also the toothpick one. Yeah, so what a cool way to celebrate Perler's 40th birthday and National Perler Day tomorrow. Um, like I said, we would love for you to hashtag your projects, show us what you've done with them, whether you've made a keychain, you put it on a water bottle, you put it on a picture frame, you make a magnet, put some Velcro on it, you can put it on practically anything. We'd love to see what you've done with it. We are also going to be back on September 11th for another Perler class and we'd love for you to join us. So we hope you guys have a great day. You enjoy the rest of your summer. Thank you for celebrating National Perler Day with us. Okay, and it looks like we did have some problems with the pattern sheet and we do apologize for that. We will make sure that we get that straightened out. We'll make sure we get it to you um, and we'll make sure that we have it right and ready to go for the next class. So please don't hesitate to sign up. We would love for you to join us again. So we hope you guys have a good rest of your Saturday. Yes. Thanks for joining us, right? Yep. All right, thanks, bye. bye.